Hi, this is Interstellar Warrior. In this video, I'm going to show you a subliminal message that I found on the cover of the DVD case for the movie The Incredibles, and also within the movie itself. I'm also going to show you some Illuminati symbolisms that I found within the movie, and also some other symbolisms. This uh, video will probably create some controversy, so I'm not going to enable comments because the purpose of this video is not to generate comments, but, but to to give out information to those truth seekers who are trying to find truth, trying to find the truth, who have an open mind. And But I know that uh, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to disagree with the content that I have within this video, and there's going to be people that are going to agree with some of it and disagree with the rest of it, and that's fine. All I want you people to do is just first watch this video with an open mind and then draw your conclusions afterwards. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to show you what I found. And please remember to subscribe, like or dislike. Okay, here's a photo of the cover of the DVD case for The Incredibles. I'm going to show you what subliminal message or message is of a certain word that's on this cover. And my youngest son first noticed this first one. The, uh, you guys can't see it? Let me show you. I highlighted it for you. That's right, the word sex. Now you can see it, huh? Ever so subtly. You can see it. Let me zoom out. Probably see a little bit better when you zoom out. It is SEX. Show you what else I found. Well, like I said, my youngest son found that first one. I'll show you what else I found. right the word six again show you first on this side yeah it's kind of ridiculous I don't know how they expect the subconscious to actually catch this, but I guess they think it will. Because this is so small, I had to zoom in on it. Let me zoom out for you. Sometimes it's a little easier to spot when it's zoomed out, not so close. Right here as well. Show what else I found. This end as well. Ever so subtle, huh? Okay, I'll show you another thing that I found here. Same word, different spot. And this one was, was barely noticeable. It's on Frozone's thigh, his left thigh. Also the word sex again. Barely can see it, huh? I don't know how they expect the subconscious to even catch this. Because this is a small image. 
I can barely see it on his thigh. S-E-X. It's kind of, it's very ridiculous. Okay, on to the next image. Okay, in this next image, this is the scene where Dash is in the cave, and to Dash's left on the cave wall, uh, I found the word sex again. I'll show you a few examples, uh, because I noticed that this cave wall had a lot of X's on it, so I'm sure that the word sex is, I'm sure this cave wall is fraught with the word sex. And they're probably interconnected, and you would have to spend a lot of time analyzing this wall. But I'll show you what I found, a few examples. Okay, the first one here. I'll zoom in on it for you. This one was, uh, I barely noticed this one. Let me highlight it again. There it is, the S, E, X. See, now you can see how barely, but it's there. Let me show you what else I found. Let me zoom out. Let's first zoom in on this one a little bit for you. Zoom out. Barely noticeable, huh? I guess they think the subconscious will catch this. When I say they, I'm talking about the Illuminati, of course. Satan's minions. The reason they do this, of course, this subliminal message of sex is to distract, corrupt, and cause a sin both children and adults alike. That's what it's all about. To have our minds on sex all the time. There it is. You can see right here. S. E. X. Barely noticeable, huh? But it's there just the same. I'm sure many of you could find the word sex in other spots on this cave wall if you spent more time analyzing it and looking at it. And but I'm not going to do that. It's, I just want to show you the examples I found. Let me show you the next image. Still the same cave wall. This time, let me show you what I found here. Right here, ever so subtle. S, the E, and the X. You can see it barely, barely noticeable, but it's there. And also on the stalactite. Let me zoom in for you. Also barely noticeable. S, E, and X. There it is. Okay, moving on to the next images. Okay, next I'm going to delve into the Illuminati symbolisms within the Incredibles movie. So let's take a look at the first image. Here we have Violet's hair. You notice that she has one eye covered with her hair and the other exposed. This is called the one eye sign, representing the all-seeing eye, which represents the Illuminati. Here's another image, the one eye sign. You'll notice that celebrities do this a lot. I'm sure you've seen photos and videos of celebrities covering one eye and leaving the other exposed. That represents that they are members of the Illuminati, or the Illuminati controls them. The one eye sign. Another image of the one eye sign. Okay. Okay, this is an image of when... Uh, Mr. Incredible was captured, and this, of course, looks like an eye. Shaped like an eye, Mr. Incredible representing the pupil of the eye. This represents the all-seeing eye. 
which again represents the Illuminati. Just another angle, another shot of the same scene. The all seeing eye once again. The all seeing eye, these look like veins in the eye. Of course, he's a pupil of the eye. You're probably asking, why does the Illuminati have to show symbols like these within movies? It's because they want to show everybody who's in control. They control this world. They control the entertainment industry, the banking, the governments of this world. They control everything. They work for Satan. This world is Satan's world. Only temporarily, though. So I believe the Lord is only using Satan and his minions to test us to see whom will we serve in the last days during the tribulation when the mark of the beast is enforced. The good Lord Almighty wants to see whom will we choose to serve. Will we choose the Lord or are we going to choose Satan and get Satan's mark of the beast? So again, the Illuminati, they work for Satan. They control this world, which is Satan's world. They help control it for him. Okay, back to this image here. I also think that this symbol on Mr. Incredible's chest represents the all-seeing eye. The letter I within this oval shape could represent the all-seeing eye. But that's debatable, but I think it does. Okay, moving on. Okay, well, remember this scene right here. And I think this right here represents the all-seeing eye. Of course, the outer edge of this circle, the eye. This is, of course, uh, Elastigirl holding up the RV. This re represents the pupil, I think. So this, I think, represents the all-seeing eye as well. Okay, moving on. Okay, so next I'm going to delve into other symbolisms of the movie. This is going to be controversial too, um, but I want to share with you what I think these symbols mean, what these images mean. So let's get right to it. Okay, let's take a look at this next image here. I'm sure you guys all recognize Syndrome's guard. Yes, I believe this guard represents the greys, you know, those little short gray aliens with the large black almond eyes. I mean, first of all, the guards, Syndrome's guards are all dressed in gray. And then they have these black visors, which I think represents, you know, the gray aliens, uh, big dark or big black almond eyes. And the gray uniforms represent their gray skin. That's what I believe this represents. Okay, let's look at this next image here. This is uh, Syndrome's Velocipod. And these vehicles look like little UFOs. And here's one of his guards piloting the Velocipod. And I believe that this represents, of course, the aliens, the little greys, flying the UFOs. So the guards even look like greys, with the gray uniform representing the gray skin, the black visors representing the large black almond eyes, of course the Velocipods representing the UFOs that they're flying or piloting. Let's take a look at this uh, next video here. Okay, in this uh, video, this is the scene where the Incredibles battle Syndrome's guards while they're piloting their Velocipods. It's going to be after this scene actually. This is where Vi's battling one of the guards here. They'll be coming up to it real soon. And I believe that, you know, the Incredibles battling these guards, which represent, I think, represent aliens, flying the UFOs. I think it represents the Lord's elect. The Incredibles represent the Lord's elect in the last days, battling Satan's forces, which are the aliens. Because the Draconians, Reptilians, those are simply fallen angels. The Greys are, sim are simply manufactured beings that the Reptilians use to do uh, abductions and, and experiments on people. And I think this represents, like this scene right here, showing that, you know, the Incredibles would represent the Lord's elect having superhuman powers battling Satan's forces. Now, if you're not familiar with the elect, there's a lady called Sherry Schreiner who has an article called the two armies of 144,000. Um, I'm going to put the link to that article in the description box so you know what I'm talking about. And I think that's what this represents. The Lord's elect 
battling Satan's forces in the last days. So look at this scene right here. See, they're about ready to battle. The, they were battling the Syndrome's guards and those Velocipods, and I believe that's what that represents. I know it's, it's for a lot of you it's going to sound pretty crazy, pretty far out there, but uh, I just suggest that you know you do the research yourself. And also, um, as far as the Illuminati symbolisms, I will leave a link to this website called The Vigilant Citizen. Uh, this person has a plethora of information about Illuminati symbolisms, what they look like, what they mean. If you're especially if you're a beginner or novice at this stuff. This website will help educate will help educate you as to what these symbolisms mean, and I will put a link to that website in the description box as well. Um, I know this is uh, going to be a controversial video, but I you know I made it for the truth seekers out there, and uh, for those who are seeking the truth, and I hope this helps you. Okay, I wanted to show you this scene one more time because the first time I showed you it, it was running really slow. Because I think this is a good representation of the Lord's elect battling Satan's forces in these last days. Because I do believe that we are in the last days and the tribulation is just around the corner. And I suggest that you establish a personal relationship with the Lord and ask Him to reveal the truth in all things to you. And He will, a little out of time. And you will get the truth. You will find the truth. Just be persistent and tenacious. I'm still seeking the truth. It's an ongoing process. It's a daily thing. I pray for the truth in all things. I ask the Lord to reveal the truth in all things to me daily. And He has, a little at a time. And He'll do the same for you. Just, just keep asking Him, and you, He will show you the truth. Okay, right here, they're showing the, some of the battle here. Again, uh, um, like I said before, I'm going to put the links uh, to the article, The Two Armies of 144,000 by Sherry Schreiner, uh, in the description box, and also a link to the Vigilant Citizen website. And that'll help you to understand what I'm talking about. For those of you who don't understand this, if this is new to you, but I'm, I'm sure a lot of you are, will know what I'm talking about. Okay, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, or dislike. This is Interstellar Warrior. I'll talk to you soon. Peace out, people.